Ideas, beliefs, desires and fears transform our bodies. That's why when we lose something we get confused and think senseless thoughts. A transitory madness that makes us believe that there is no net. That our being is only a body without strings and tether, without all that inner life that doesn't show through the skin. The body is a situation, and each body is an experience. is lost forever. We've got, uh, you know, the Invictus gamers that are injured, wounded and ill. Mm -hmm. But in the Māori culture, um, when you put that together, it's iwi. Yeah. And um, Melissa will explain that. <laughs> so we are, an, we are an iwi. So you have your, your family, uh -huh. your immediate family, and then you spread out and you spread out. And, and the bigger you are is your iwi. And, we don't just represent the iwi that we are now. We are re now represent the iwi of the New Zealand Defence Force because we've added to the iwi with our competitors for this year. Stacey, with what she has gone through and to still be a mum, to still be a wife, to still work as best she can <laughs> when she can, um, and then to do all her training for the last four years, She's a superhero. She's not just a hero, she's a superhero. <laughs> she's a superhero. <laughs> so my grandmother, um, she passed away before I got to finish to get to the Invictus Games. She was just the strong little lady that I remembered. And she was the one who just gave me that courage. She told me I'd be fine. And um, yeah. And you are. Yeah. I'm she okay. was a wise, wise lady. Oh, and she was such a beautiful little human being. <laughs> a little human being? Yeah, she was just so <laughs> tiny. <laughs> but sounds like she had the biggest heart. Oh, she's the biggest. She had the biggest heart. In 1800, the German emperor, in love with his blue collar and its strength, chose it over the Edelweiss.
A flower can change the course of events. Its frailty is its immense strength. Today we received the script The Inner Garden. I'm nervous and anxious to read it. Like walking in the dark, trying to get closer to his frailty, to the wound that I've been sharing for months. Uh, mentally or physically? Uh, <laughs> both. You can, you can say both if you want. Mentally, it's, it's my commitment to my friends, what gets me out of bed in the morning to actually connect with them and build a community, which has been a real challenge with PTSD because PTSD makes you want to isolate. And I know I've got to challenge myself. I will only get more ill if I don't go out um, and socialize. So that's where I think it has become my strength is to be with my friends and support them because it forces me to make myself better mm -hmm. and become more healthy by going out and committing to my friends. So yeah, that's what gets me out of bed is looking after my mates. Um, it's to see other people come into my sports, especially wounded, injured and sick veterans. Mm -hmm that there is something you can do to enhance your life. So I'm training to become an archery coach so I can help other people get into a sport that I absolutely adore and has yeah. helped me so much. So me being on the Invictus stage enables me to go, you honestly can do archery, you can do these sports, you can be, you can push your own boundaries and become something greater just with something as simple as doing a sport. Just because you don't see it, it doesn't mean it's not there. Just because you don't feel it, it doesn't mean it doesn't caress you. Just because you don't name it, it doesn't mean it doesn't act. Da quando è successo, la tua vita è cambiata. Perché? Perché io dopo l'attentato comunque ho avuto un post traumatico da stress. Eh Comunque, vivendo in una famiglia e allenando dei ragazzi piccoli, mm -hmm. non devi dimostrare quello che veramente sei. Per, è una questione di eh, etica verso il bambino. Parlo di bambini di 10 anni, 12 anni. Devi, devi sentirti sicuro per esprimere qualcosa di buono che loro poi dovranno eh, fare in campo. Ok? Mm -hmm. eh, però stai nascondendo veramente la tua verità. Sinceramente, da ex giocatore e allenatore di calcio ti dico che lo stadio. Stadio. L'altro posto invece è dove ho avuto l'attentato in Afghanistan, perché da lì non sei mai andato via. Sei una persona incompiuta. So if you decide that your life don't stop and you can do anything even to have one leg and protest, you can do what you want. I started cycling in 2020 to get out of my wheelchair. Mm -hmm. I have more power in my legs. And in 2021, um, they sent me to the World Championship yeah. uh, in Poitiers, France, where I uh, was participating in the World Champion race cycling. And all of a sudden, I was at the start line of a World Championship so we rode into the, the town and the people were all just cheering. It's the same thing you see on TV, but it was in real life. And it, it gave me a lot of emotions because the ride to glory, that, that's what it was. I was really crying when I rode into the village and everybody was clapping for me. Een rustig, normale jongen ben die met beide benen op de grond staat en een hart op de juiste plek heeft. Hoe ga ik mijn dag indelen of wat is mijn indeling van mijn dag? Uh, ik moet zeggen, ik heb de laatste maanden, jaar, uh, heb ik mijn uh, agenda gekoppeld aan mijn dochter. Dus als het kleine naar de school gaat, dan ga ik met haar mee opstaan, dan ga ik met haar mee. Maar daarvoor had ik totaal geen uh, dagindeling. Ik had er geen uh, doel in mijn leven. Uh, dan was ik alleen maar bezig om overleven. Mm. En dat was een grote deel van mijn, uh, van mijn dag. Dat zag er zo uit. Ik hou van rustige plekken. Ik heb ooit al in het verleden heel vaak geroepen van... ik zou eigenlijk op een onbewonde eiland willen leven. Uh, gewoon iedereen. Alleen op dit moment... Uh, 
Uh, ja, ben ik ietsje verder in mijn proces. Dan, dan denk ik van ja, ik wil toch wat mensen om me heen hebben. Vooral mijn gezin, uh, vrienden, familie. Mm-hmm. Dus uh, ja, uh, home sweet home. We are part of a plan. Aquí estoy, frente al río Rin. No sé exactamente en qué kilómetro, la verdad. Este río recorre casi todas las fronteras. La alemana, la suiza, la francesa. Tiene 1.233 kilómetros de inicio a fin. Yo mido 1,77 m de inicio a fin. Pero no sé exactamente cuánto mide mi interior. Supongo que... que de eso se trata vivir, ¿no? De averiguar cuánto mide nuestro interior. I joined the Naval Reserves as a finance clerk. Um, and then I met my husband while we were serving in the Naval Reserves. My husband and I have two wonderful children, uh, twins. Oh. <laughs> They're 23 now. Um, I would never have called myself an athlete. I am more of a musician. I play violin, I do crafting. Um, and so being an athlete is something new for me, but I'm certainly enjoying it. I am enough. Um, it's something that I've had to spend many years uh, trying to realize that for myself. And I've been thinking long and hard about a tattoo that I want to get. And I've decided while I've been here in Germany that I will get I am enough, Dusseldorf 23, and uh, the icon for my three sports. The world stops in an instant. So when I was sexually assaulted, uh, that was very difficult for me. I was on a course in the military. So I was on course with the person that had harmed me. I was away from my family um, and I didn't know who to call. Um, I I felt like I was in the middle of chaos. I felt that I was fragile. If you had afflicted me, Mm. I would have broken into a million pieces. We are out on this field today and uh, this reminds me of that time. Because when you're on a training course in the military, you're often with a roommate, There's always people around and something like sexual assault is so personal. You don't want to tell anybody what happened to you. So I used to go into the field on the base that I was at and I would cry in the middle of the field and I would call my mom and tell her what happened to me. And she helped me through that first week. Um, After that, I was able to go to the doctor um, and then Probably I I was sent to mental health services right away for acute counseling for uh, counseling for acute trauma. Um, So it took me probably about a month before I could get home to my husband to tell him what happened to me. Oh. And uh, so in that time, I would say the world stopped. Like I went from being a bubbly, cheerful, happy person to being a scared and frightened um, just, uh, you, people would make a sound and I would jump. Mm. I had friends that were on course with me and they asked me, they're like, what happened? Tracy, something's different. You're not yourself. I lost 20 pounds in a month, uh, oh. cause I couldn't eat. So my world, my world changed and it stopped in that moment. The perpetrator works in the area now. And so that's very difficult for me to go back to that building. Um, It was actually one of my goals uh, before I came to Invictus. It's been a year since I was able to go back into that building. And my husband and I with my um, psychologist have been working very hard on taking very little baby steps to be able to go back into that building. And I was able to do that on the Friday before I flew here. Wow. Yep, I, so I went into the building and I met my girlfriends and we sat and had a coffee. I didn't cry, <laughs> I didn't break down, I did it. And so now anything that I do here at the games is just, it's bigger than me. Mi personaje en la película se llama Harry. Pertenece a estas aguas dulces. Su abuelo Giuseppe, mitad italiano, mitad alemán, 
ayudó a huir a más de 100 personas en la Segunda Guerra Mundial. Gracias a estas aguas y a una góndola negra que fabricó para que su mujer creyera que estaba más cerca de Venecia. Este río es un río de oro. Por estas aguas dulces se han transportado todo tipo de mercancías y personas. Si este río hablara... Por eso su nombre suena Cascabeles. Tiene mucho que decir. Harry recuerda una y otra vez la voz de su abuelo Giuseppe. Siempre andaba con un anciano en las manos. El anciano es la flor símbolo de Alemania. Cuando Harry se hizo mayor entendió por qué su abuelo llevaba esa flor constantemente entre las manos. Le contaron que su abuelo Giuseppe le dio una flor a cada una de las personas que subía esa góndola y que le hacía cruzar al otro lado de la frontera, ya sea la sueca o la francesa. El anciano era el salvoconducto de todas esas personas que huyeron de la guerra. Harry está despertando en el hospital. Un accidente le ha dejado en silla de ruedas. Un accidente le ha mostrado su fragilidad. Sigue habiendo heridos de guerra, pero... de otra clase de guerras. En su mano un anciano y en su mejilla una lágrima. El doctor le está leyendo el informe médico. Él solo siente el tacto de la flor en su mano y la lágrima recorriendo su rostro. I was in a dark place and I had suicidal ideations uh, last November and without sports, I don't know that I would be here today and through basketball and my local organization and help through the military mm -hmm. and just everything that the Warrior Games for the U.S. has done and uh, now Invictus has done for me, like, it's given me uh, passion, it's given me life. I think love for not just family and if you're thinking more of a broad, mm -hmm. I think it's compassion is the best word that I can think of off the top of my head. <laughs> compassion. Yeah, I think it's compassion because compassion helps you just strive for greatness and without one or the other, mm -hmm. you would be empty. Yeah. And you have to have both. And for me, compassion is love. If one person says you can't do that, mm -hmm. forget that person. There's so many people in this world, go around them. Just, just go around yeah. them, just avoid them. You don't need that negativity in your life. Like, there's already so much negative going on in this world. Like, just go around them. I am here facing a river that brings strength to the region. I am here so that the grandfather I never had can teach me the strength of a flower that is born on the banks of a river that sounds like a ringing bell. I am here because they are going to show me the way to find my inner garden. For all the athletes, it's also a privilege. The privilege because we are the first time having our families with us to getting the same support than we got. Mm -hmm. It's to say thank you. Yeah. For all the... <coughs> it's about saying thank you mm -hmm. to all of our family members, the children, the mom, the dad, the wife. And uh, it's something which we are not having during normal days, even in that time when we are in the darkness. Mm -hmm. And um, to be here means that our progress and our sickness, it's going on the right way. And we are stable enough to get all the things, which does not mean we are not sensitive, emotional. Definitely. Um, and this is it's one of the big things here You feel every second, every moment, and you want to keep it in your heart, in your head, in your brain. It's so much spirit vibrations going on.
Our inner garden is the place where all our strength lies. A flower is a safeguard for transformation. To think that a garden dwells in me. To know that I'm part of a plan. If you could hear the wind in each flower, you'd have a bigger voice. Happiness. Huh. Happiness? Yes. But in your body, how, how you feel it? That's um, a mixture of uh, excitement, yeah. but also confidence. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a real good feeling. We are prepared to be ourselves, at our strongest and our most fragile. Je m'appelle Frédéric, j'ai 49 ans. Donc voilà, je suis une vitusienne parce que malheureusement j'ai une blessure, euh, euh, disons, une, une, euh, en mission en Afghanistan, il y a une blessure et j'ai le syndrome post-traumatique. Mm. Donc voilà, donc d'où euh, ma présence au, au Invectusième. Donc euh, voilà, c'est ma deuxième édition. Oh. J'ai fait Invectusième l'année dernière aux Pays-Bas. Et là, c'est ma, euh, ma dernière édition. Euh, donc voilà, je, je suis hyper heureux. Yeah, it's been hard because um, I'm still currently serving, so trying to find the balance between my real job um, as a nursing officer in the army wow. um, and putting effort into the training, um, finding that balance has been really hard. But um, when we've had our training camps, it just keeps you motivated to just put that little bit extra training and let go that little bit further um, because it's all about what you do before you get here will make the difference on the day and I'm just going to leave it all out on like out there and I'll just do the best I can and just be proud of what I've achieved in that journey discovering things about myself um, and becoming a stronger fitter person um, that I can take forward um, into my job into my family into like into the future la cicatrices que yo tengo en mi cuerpo y en mi alma me hacen recordar cada vez que las veo Las veces que la vida me quiso obligar y no pudo. Wow. Frase. Nunca pude despedirme de mi mamá. No. No, no, está bien. Está bien. Estamos juntos. ¿Ok? Bueno, destino de la vida. Uh -huh. Me encontré en una operación y cuando llegué tenía ocho llamas perdidas. Uh -huh. Y era la noticia que había fallecido. Eso nos une. Siempre sí. hay cosas que nos unen. Es la regla que ahora nosotros escribimos. Una vida que con discapacidad o deportiva o profesional, que es la que escribimos. Las marcas que llevamos nosotros en nuestra piel. Y en nuestra conexión. Todo esto es una hermandad. That's the rule, ain't no right I'll rule, is the skin That is her connection I, It's hard to put this whole experience into words yeah. um, And it'll probably take me a while to work it all out mm -hmm. And wrap my head around what this week's been um, But yeah, no, it's amazing it's life changing. 한국에서 이제 저희처럼 군 복무 중에 다친 그런 군인들을 지원하는 일을 하고 있는데요. 사실 한국에 많은 일이 있어서 여기에 참가 이 인빅터스 게임에 참가하는 것을 고민을 했었어요. 그럼에도 불구하고 이 게임에 참가했던 이유가 많은 친구들이 다치면서 절망하는데 어 저처럼 다쳤어도 나가서 해낼 수 있다는 것을 스스로 보여주고 싶었고 그 친구들한테도 어 보여주고 싶었어요. 그래서 이 게임에 참가하게 됐고 그 친구들한테 절대 포기하지 말고 어 너희들이 나라를 지킨 영웅이라고 말해주고. Grazie mio carissimo amico, mio collega, uscito il colonnello Barriera, secondo me era mi ha introdotto nel mondo del dei paratleti e in quindi mi ha introdotto nel mondo degli Invictus che io non non avevo idea di cosa potesse essere questo. When you trust a plan the limit dissolves itself, and it becomes your strength. When we trust in life, that's success. Can I pull? Yeah, of course. I got my injury 16 September 2016. 
11 a.m. midnight. 11 p.m., sorry. 11 p.m. Start hearing shots everywhere. Then they fired the RPG in my vehicle. I'm the first person the RPG met. He took off my leg immediately. I look left, I look right. I didn't see anyone again. I'm the only one. I try to move. I don't understand some things. I look, then I see my leg beside me. My leg is already gone. Love is what brings people together. Without love, we cannot be together. Nothing is lost forever. There is an invisible army that always acts, inhabits you. What we are looking for is the impact of something on someone or someone on something. Harry and the story of his grandfather, those he saved and the blue cornflower in his hands. Them and their success, their medals. The impact is not what we see, but how we see it, and in what magnitude. A flower is a safeguard, and a medal is a golden flower. in any response. They are on the golden path. Actors and athletes compete for the same thing, to be the skin that inspired them. They ride to glory. We are ready to be an event. Not at the end of the darkness, but there is a lot of light right now. There are rules that never tell you something that is actually written. The world stops in an instant. Something wild stirs within me. They decided to have no limits. They wished to be the wind. We are part of the plan. Can you hear the buzzing of change? I come. I come. I come. One day they lost, and now they gain seconds of life. They are involved in something bigger. They discover their inner garden. They decide to have no limits. They wish to be the wind. They are on the golden path. They are involved in something bigger. They discovered their inner garden. That net is an invincible garden. They have taught us that. Thank you. There are rules that never tell you Something that is actually written mm -hmm. The war stops in an instant Something wild steers within me of a plan Can you hear the both 
Something big. 